Hi, everyone. My name is Avinash. I'm the author of the book Web Analytics and R a Day, and I'm also the analytics evangelist for Google. And what that means is I get to work with our products and services that our customers use to make better decisions. Let me give you a couple of quick examples of the kinds of reporting and analysis you could do with free tools like Google Analytics. One of the common questions people have is try to figure out what is valuable on my website and what is getting people to come to my website again and again. And, and the metric that people end up using is average visits per visitor. And what you're trying to figure out is how many times did somebody come. And the problem with that metric is that averages lie. And, and, and um, they tend to give data that is not very actionable. So the report that I actually like a lot more is the visitor loyalty report in Google Analytics. It's very easily available to you. And what it shows you is the number of times different people come to your website. And so what you can do very easily is say, oh, well, all right, 40% of the people came once and never again. Oh, look, here's what the other 60% of the people are doing. And you can take that and identify valuable behavior for your website. So for example, in working with a content site, a valuable behavior is that somebody comes to your website three or more times, or four or more times a month. Well, you can take that group, you can put that into a segment, and then you can easily apply that segment to your core reports to answer some very fundamental questions. People who come to my website four times or more, where do they come from? What keywords drive them to my website? What traffic sources send these people? So you can start to understand more your acquisition strategy and how to make it better. The other thing you can do with that same segment is you can apply that to your content um, report and try to understand what types of content are consumed more by people who visit frequently. So it turns out that people who come again and again actually read sports and entertainment. And while you have a massively huge section about politics, nobody cares. Well, perhaps you care, but not the visitors coming to your website. So the loyalty report pinpoints the behavior that is important to your business, and it helps you understand how to optimize that behavior. Another question I get very often is people say, I really don't know what pages to improve on my website. That's really a great question. Um, the, my favorite report is called Top Landing Pages Report. And, and what it shows is it shows you all the home pages you have for your website. Because if you think that you only have one home page, that's not really true. People search, they go deep into your website. Look at the top 10, top 20 landing pages of your website, places where people enter your website, and then apply a metric called bounce rate. It's a wonderful metric because what bounce rate measures is this phenomenon. I came, I puked, I left. It's showing you all the people who come to your website, only look at that page and leave instantly. So by the time you apply bounce rate to your landing pages report, you're able to figure out which pages on your website are not able to get even a single click from your customers. Those are the ones that need improvement. Let me close with one of the AdSense reports that I tend to use a lot. And it's called the AdSense Content Report. It's also available in Google Analytics Standard. And what it shows me very, very easily is the content on my website where AdSense ad tends to get most amount of clicks. And what this helps me understand is, what is the content that people are interested in? And on those each pieces of content, how many clicks do my AdSense ad gets? And in that's, that data helps you create a true win-win for your company because you can say, I'm going to produce more content that people find to be of value. And oh, by the way, I also get more AdSense clicks and revenue to my company. And that really is a win-win for you and your customers. Those are three quick examples of data-driven decisions. Decisions that help you understand your customer behavior and be more profitable as a business. I wish you all the very best.